It is that moment you are about to reach the milestone and earn some bucks. But guess what? YouTube has other plans. Reuse content issue. Have you ever had to face this before? Well, we know how to fix it. Stay tuned and watch till the end to learn more. Hey guys, welcome back to another fascinating episode of Hype Bucks. In today's video, we will tell you about how to fix reuse content on YouTube. How does that sound? Pretty interesting, eh? So before we move on, don't forget a thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the post notifications to not miss out on our future updates. So shall we dive in? The search to monetize a channel on YouTube has been a severe battle. Everyone encounters reuse content the first time they apply. The fact is, as a new creator who just signed up looking to make some money from YouTube, the YouTube monetization bot is always the first to wiggle your channel for monetization. And as a robot, every little mistake is a big blunder. After you're held for reused contents by the bots in your first time of monetization, you will be given one month to go and study about reused contents and edit your channels so when a human agent comes to examine, you can be efficiently approved finally. So what is reused content? One of the easiest ways to make a YouTube video is by using another person's content that does not initially belong to you, or by adding many videos and compiling them to be one. This content might not have been taken from YouTube, but it might have been downloaded from other sites on the internet, including any social media platform. For different users, different content multiple times across the internet can also come under this. It can also be the funny short clips you incorporate into your video while editing to make it more imaginative. Typically, a video over the internet has an ID to identify each one so your short clips from any social media platform will be labeled reused since others can effortlessly download and use the same content. So now you have an idea about what all comes under reused content. Now the next step is to know how to use it without being flagged. How to use reused content on YouTube? Well, everything has got a loophole, isn't it? We will explain how to make videos without fearing of having monetization issues since everything you follow are YouTube guidelines and policies. At VoiceOver, commentary. This is a simple and easy method to overcome the reuse content issue. All you have to do is add your voice along with the video. Just record a video of yourself making a commentary on whatever it is. This is especially easier and handy if it's a reaction video. And if you don't want to add your face, use your voice. As simple as that. Also, including a voiceover of yourself will go a long way to set out your video and save it from collapsing under the hands of reused content from the beginning till the end. It would be best if you spoke from the start of the video till the end of the video. Speaking a bit here and there wouldn't help. Your voice needs to be there throughout the video. Don't feel embarrassed about your voice. Give your subscribers and viewers something new. The choice is yours, either to make money or to be broke and stay in your comfort zone. Delete your flagged videos. After you post a new video, wait for a month or until you reapply, then delete these old videos that have been tagged as reused content. There is nothing to worry about since you have already created new videos that are more unique and different. However, deleting the videos is a must because they have been flagged and will stay in the way of your money-making plan. And this way, you can avoid the reuse content strike. And now you can reapply to find a program. Another thing to note that is your watch hours will decrease when you delete these videos. But by keeping these videos, you will get a strike for reuse content. So it's better that your watched hour are lower than being flagged. Watch hour will gradually increase. Nothing to be worried about. Go through YouTube's policies. Make certain that the content on your YouTube channel aligns with YouTube's policies. Reading and following the YouTube guidelines and policy will go a long way to deciding your stay on YouTube. Before you start making any video, ensure to go through the YouTube guidelines and policy to see whether your content goes against the policy, so you don't suffer the penalties of a violator. In terms of reusing content or how to make use of other people's content on YouTube, the guidelines and policies have laid out a smooth way to go about it. Edit your channel about. The first impression is the best impression. The right way to start reviewing your channel is to edit your about information in your channel. Although many people overlook this, your channel plays an important role in your monetization procedure. You might start by talking about what your channel is all about, then go along and also explain how you make your video. Channel banner and profile photo. A unique and eye-catching banner and profile picture have more chances of catching the viewer's attention. But guess what's better? Changing your channel's profile and banner will make your channel stand out when it proceeds under the critical eyes of YouTube reviewers. For the banner, make a suitable banner including your photo and some playlists on your channel. Also add your logo or personal photo as your channel profile photo for the profile photo. Because YouTube wants to be sure you are a human being and not a robot. 
give credits. You have to give credit to whoever owns the song you used in your videos. Many people fail to give credits, whereby having a copyright claim or a copyright strike on a video with that credit comes to more penalty. Blurring the faces You have to blur the face of those in your video. Compilation videos are a combination of many different videos from various sources. As you do not own any of these content, YouTube fully knows it's reused and knows that you have no ownership over it. So, blurring the faces of those involved exhibits, you have knowledge of what reused content is, and you are delivering your own content now, this content as YouTube will view it as a creative way of editing. So now all is set for you to earn bucks. These are the few steps to fix your reused content issue. But the best way is always to be original and creative. Yet, we warn you that not everyone can monetize with reused content. However, 90% have ended up being monetized. We hope you are in that 90%. We desire you a lot of success while trying to monetize your YouTube channel. Do you guys have any other ways of fixing the reused content issue? If so, let us know about it in the comment section below. So that's about it for the day. We hope it was informative and entertaining. Have you ever faced reused content issue before? How did you fix it? Tell us about your experiences in the comment section below. What do you want us to talk about in the next video? So before we say goodbye, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification not to miss out on any future updates. Until the next video, goodbye.